Do you feel that your family has branded you the computer resource of the family? Or are you the person that feels like you're always asking your friends and family questions about your computer? Well, thankfully Microsoft has a tool called Windows Remote Assistance wherein you can actually log into your friend's computer and help them from your computer. Makes things a lot easier. This is Paul, one of the techs here at Micro Center, and today I'm going to show you how to go in and use that tool. Let's check it out. Okay, to get started, you want to click on the Start button in the lower left-hand corner, and that little search window right above the Start button, you want to type in Remote. Click on Windows Remote Assistance, and if you're the one needing help from a friend, click on Invite Someone You Trust to help you. A couple of choices here. You can save this invitation as a file or use email to send it. We're going to save it as a file, and we're going to put it on the desktop. There it is. And you want to make sure that you give this password to the person that you're asking for assistance. So you want to email this file to them and make sure you put the password in the file itself. All right, so now we're going to go onto another computer to receive the invitation. Okay, so now we're on the other computer, the one offering the assistance. As you can see, we have the invitation file on the desktop. Go ahead and double click on that and type in that password that the program gave you. Click OK. And now you'll see it says waiting for acceptance. So now we're going to go back over to the other computer and accept the connection. Okay, so now we're back on the computer that was that was requesting assistance from a friend. And as you can see, we've got a message on the screen that says, uh, would you like to allow HOTS to connect to your computer? I'm going to click on yes. All right, and now we're going to go over to the other computer, which is offering the assistance. Okay, so now as you can see, I'm on the computer that's that's offering the assistance, and I'm actually uh, remoted onto the other person's computer. And from here in this remote session, I'll be able to offer whatever assistance that the person needs. As you can see, I can minimize this and go back to my desktop and still have their desktop in the corner. So I'll do whatever I need to do on theirs. Go back to mine if I need to. All right, and that's how you run a Windows Remote Assistance session. If you have any other questions, come visit us at www.microcentertech.com.